You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. It was the line that launched her career as a Hollywood great. It also hooked her co-star, Humphrey Bogart. Their on-screen chemistry led to an off-screen romance and she became his fourth wife. They were married until he died and when he did, she apparently put a whistle in his coffin. She starred alongside the likes of Marilyn Monroe and Doris Day in over 30 films and she told amazing tales of her time in Hollywood in her autobiography. Georgina Moore was her publicist when she went on a book tour in the UK. She said Bacall was a true silver screen diva. She was terrifying. Um, but in the best way, in that you didn't want to, you wanted to do your best for her because she had very high standards. But she had this glint of mischief in her eye and you never knew when you were going to end up being the butt of a devastating line that sounded like something out of a film noir. I'd like to know what your intentions are. In 1996, she got an Oscar nomination for her role opposite Barbara Streisand in The Mirror Has Two Faces. Streisand paid tribute to her today, saying it was my privilege to have known her, to have acted with her, and most of all, to have had her as a wise and loving friend. But it wasn't until 2009 that Bacall was actually given an Oscar, an honorary one, and she was clearly thrilled. I can't believe it. A man at last. She had a successful Broadway career too and in recent years starred on TV in an episode of The Sopranos and voiced a character in Family Guy. Survived by her three children, she died at home in New York after suffering a stroke. One of the last surviving stars of the golden era of Hollywood.